Hey guys, Justin here. So the two solar stocks I want to talk about today are Array Technologies and Flex. But a little spoiler here, I actually prefer Array over Flex, and I will explain more as to why that is later in the video. But I want to also talk about Flex because they acquired a big competitor to Array called Next Tracker. So I first want to explain why this is such a big opportunity, and then I want to look at Array and Next Tracker's products to try and determine which stock represents the better buying opportunity. But before I get into the video, please consider subscribing if you are new. I've easily put in over 10 hours of research into this video alone, and I've condensed it down to only 10 minutes. So if you appreciate the work that I put in, feel free to hit that subscribe button. So the reason I am talking about these two solar stocks is because I think they represent a huge opportunity in the solar market. In fact, in Array's prospectus, they showed a chart of the estimated growth of ground-mounted solar installations in the US. And in this chart, we can see a rising trend over the next three years, which when we crunch the numbers, represents a 16% annual growth rate. Now, I am focusing on the US because in 2019, 87% of Array's revenue came from the US. However, not only are the installations of utility-scale solar projects growing, but existing solar projects are also upgrading their systems to include solar trackers. So the annual growth rate for Array solar trackers is actually estimated to be 19% from now until 2023, which is a really good growth rate for their products. Now, the exciting part about Array stock for investors is that Array has been able to grow revenue at a very impressive rate. In 2018, Array had $290 million in revenue, but in 2019, they more than doubled their revenue and recorded over $600 million in revenue. And things just keep getting better for Array. So far through the first half of 2020, Array has already recorded $552 million worth of revenue, which if they can maintain that, would give them $1.1 billion worth of revenue by the end of the year, which is very impressive revenue growth for a solar company. Also, Array has gross margins of roughly 25% and net income margins of 13%, which is impressive when we consider the revenue growth rate they have been able to achieve. So, so far, the financials for Array stock look really good. Now, before I go any further, let's back up so I can explain why Array Technologies popped up on my radar. Array Technologies went public a week ago on October 15th, and in a matter of only one day, the stock managed to jump 33% which means it now has a market cap of $4 billion. And with the market cap of $4 billion, this would put Array in the mid-cap stock category, which means it is a fairly big stock compared to all the other stocks out there. But despite Array's big market cap, it is actually not the biggest solar tracking company. In fact, Array is actually the second biggest behind a company called Next Tracker. And this is notable because Next Tracker was acquired by a company called Flex back in 2015. And at the time, Flex was able to close the deal for Next Tracker for only $330 million. However, since 2015, Next Tracker has continued to grow. And like I said, they are today the biggest solar tracker company in the world. And to give you a quick size comparison, they have installed their trackers on 35 gigawatts worth of solar compared to 17 gigawatts of solar for a Array. So at this point, they are quite a bit ahead of Array. But I would guess that based on Array's revenue growth, that Array is closing the gap quickly. Now, the interesting part about all of this is that the market cap for Flex stock is only $7 billion. So if we assume that Array stock is fairly valued at a market cap of $4 billion, we might ask the question of whether or not Flex stock is undervalued. And while it's a fair question, it is a hard one to answer. For one, Flex does not release earnings for Next Tracker. Instead, Flex lumps Next Tracker's financials in with their own. So it makes it difficult for us to know for sure what percentage of Flex's revenue comes from Next Tracker. Now, analysts at JP Morgan estimate that Next Tracker alone generates roughly $1 billion a year in revenue, which wouldn't be too surprising since we already saw that Array is on track to hit $1.1 billion in revenue this year. But the interesting part to me is that one analyst in particular estimates that Next Tracker only makes up 5% of Flex's total revenue. So if he is right, then that means that Flex's stock is currently undervalued at the moment. 
And of course, there were many other analysts that were saying this. So essentially, once Array went public, it revealed the true value of Next Tracker, which then led to analysts raising their price targets for Flex stock. And we can see that this is the case because Flex stock has jumped 17% since Array's IPO. Now, this information about Flex stock might make you think that it is the better investment, but I'm going to explain why I actually like Array stock better. The simplest reason I like Array stock better is because they are a pure play on solar trackers. That is the only thing they do, and there is nothing to distract them from focusing on improving their products. On the other hand, Next Tracker is a part of Flex, which specializes in electronics manufacturing. And honestly, this might not be a big deal, but I like the fact that Array is its own company with its own stock, instead of being hidden inside of another company's stock, which like we have already seen, makes it hard for investors to understand the opportunity. For me, I would love to buy Next Tracker, but only if Flex spun it off into its own company with a separate stock ticker which based on what I have read is a very real possibility. Flex could spin off Next Tracker so that investors can more clearly see the value that Next Tracker provides. And Flex could even retain partial ownership so that as Next Tracker grows, the value of their shares grow along with it. And I think this might be the best option for Flex because there are a lot of differences between Flex's main business and Next Tracker's business. So separating them out could help boost both companies' stocks. Also, another reason I like Array better is because it is a US-based company. And this is important in my opinion because the US is the number two installer of utility-scale solar projects behind only China. Also, roughly 70% of new utility-scale solar projects in the US come with trackers installed, which is really high compared to the rest of the world, which only has 30% of new solar projects using trackers. So Array being a US business could be a huge advantage for them. Now, the biggest reason I like Array more than Next Tracker is because of the technology they are using. And this might sound counterintuitive, but more advanced solar trackers are not always better. If we compare Array's solar trackers to Next Trackers, then it would appear that Next Tracker is the favorite because it simply has more advanced trackers. But the biggest selling point for trackers is the cost versus return ratio. If one solar tracker can achieve 50% efficiency gains and another can only achieve 30%, it doesn't mean the higher efficiency one will automatically win. If the higher efficiency solar tracker does not make financial sense, then customers will instead opt for the less advanced tracker. So cost and efficiency are both very important here. And in my opinion, this is where Array solar trackers shine through. Instead of putting a motor on each row of solar panels like Next Tracker does, Array uses one motor to control multiple rows. And this is important because motors are expensive. So by having one big motor instead of many smaller motors, Array is able to lower the cost of their system while still achieving very high efficiency improvements. In fact, here's a chart of Array's annual cost savings compared to systems that use motors for every row. Array's centralized tracker architecture results in a much lower cost of operation over a 30-year period. And if we crunch the numbers, Array's cost savings come out to 7% over their lifetime, which might not seem like a lot, but as the chart shows, it does add up over time. Now, based on this information, I think Array has a good chance of taking market share away from Next Tracker and even potentially becoming the largest solar tracker company in the world. Now, that being said, there is one problem with Array stock. When I was doing research, I noticed that their solar trackers were not very high tech. They were basically a control motor, a giant gear, and some metal extrusions to connect the solar panel rows, which helps them cut down a lot on costs. And that's ultimately a good thing. But I was a little worried that Array's proprietary tech was not good enough to fight off their competition. Luckily though, I found out about a new software that Array released in August of this year, and it helped me become more bullish on Array stock. Array announced SmartTrack, which is a machine learning software that optimizes the energy output on uneven terrain and in cloudy conditions. And without going too far into the weeds, machine learning is a very specific form of artificial intelligence. Basically, over time, the software learns the best positions for the solar panel rows to maximize efficiency. And you need machine learning for this because each setup could be very different. Based on the differences in terrain, it would be impossible to create a program without using machine machine learning. Also, when it is cloudy outside, the ideal angle of solar panels changes. 
So if we look at this chart, we can see that over the course of a cloudy day, Array's smart track software results in a 5% efficiency boost which might not sound like a lot, but every little bit helps. So having this software will help them become much more competitive against Next Tracker. Also, as the cost of hardware comes down, greater focus is being placed on trying to reduce labor costs. To address this, Array has designed a new clamp technology that it says will greatly reduce the time it takes to install their trackers. So at the end of the day, you have a unique niche player in the growing utility scale solar market that is growing at roughly 100% per year. And on top of that, they are already profitable. Now, one more thing that I think is important, but I have not addressed yet, is leadership. Array was founded in 1989 by a guy named Ron Corio. And Corio was an early pioneer of solar trackers at the time. Corio has been the CEO for most of Array's existence until stepping down in 2018 which I was sad to see. But it looks like Corio is not stepping down from the company altogether, and is still going to be heavily involved in the company as a member of their senior leadership team. On top of that, the article I was reading also said that he will be focused on product development, which I think is great. So the fact that he is still involved is a big advantage to Array Stock, in my opinion. And I've mentioned this in several of my other videos, but founders who are still involved in their companies have higher stock returns than companies that are not being run Run by the original founders. So Array Stock, in addition to everything we have discussed so far, also passes a leadership test. Now, this brings me to the important question of whether or not I personally will be buying Array Stock. And honestly, I'm torn here. I think if you want to invest in solar energy stocks, Array is a great stock to invest in. But I am unsure if the opportunity in the solar tracker market is big enough to convince me to buy. Array's products are only for utility scale solar projects, and it is a fairly niche product. So while I do think that Array stock will continue to rise, I wonder if the returns will be able to live up to the hype. But I will say this, in my opinion, I think Array stock is a long-term winner. And if Flex decides to spin off Next Tracker, I might even be interested in Next Tracker as well. So if you're interested in finding winning solar stocks to add to your portfolio, then I think Array is a good candidate for you. But let me know in the comment section what you think about Array stock. Is it a buy or do you have your eye on a different solar stock? Let me know below. And with that, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.